<clears throat> Okie dokie, here we go. <clears throat> Buy it on the set. Zoom Room video sponsored by the BMC. All right, all right. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. In no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo themselves, Laz and Jack. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret some news so you don't have to do anything other than question your own personal life choices and ours on this Monday. Manic Monday. Monday. That's right. Monday. Monday, 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 October 4th. Year is yeah. almost giveaway gone, folks. Giveaway is open. Yes, giveaway is open on both sides. And let me get over here real quick because I have to just verify something. Uh, verify something here real quick because... Uh, What are you verifying? Oh, uh, date. Because oh, okay. uh, we we have some bad news for everybody out there, and of course, uh, unfortunately, we are the news, and we are the bearers of good news as well as bad news. And we received word this past weekend that a friend of NBNN and a friend of many of you out there. Uh, Lost another Shroud of the Avatar player. Uh, sadly, we lost Twistar this past Saturday to COVID. And, uh, of course, we want to extend yeah. our you know, deepest sympathies and prayers out to the family. Uh, Twistar was, uh, yes, condolences and all that stuff because uh, Twistar was a friend. Uh, you know, he was uh, a, a, you know, an avid player of Shroud and uh, always had something going on. and. Uh, it's just uh, one of those things that comes to the territory that we have to pass this bad news on to you guys and gals. Uh was a post in our Discord that uh, I can't seem to find. seems to have been deleted, but uh, it was a post from Alfine, uh, from somebody saying that Alfine had posted in Twistar's Discord that there was going to be a memorial tonight um, in memory of Twistar out at his house. 
I believe it's Twistar's house. Uh, don't In know exactly that, where. <clears throat> that was actually uh, uh, posted by Treasure Pile last night at eight oh six. Last night, okay. <clears throat> that why I couldn't find yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, eight oh six from uh, uh, Treasure Pile in our Discord. Um, this uh. is from Alfine in Twistar's Discord regarding a memorial service for Twistar. Um, there it is. Okay, I was looking yeah. for the wrong person, um, and it's going to be today at seven forty nine. Or is that from yesterday? Uh, no, it's going to be uh, this coming. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was there. Yeah. It's going to be 8 p.m. tonight at Twistar's house in Salem. So uh, anybody yes. willing to go, wanting to go pay their respects, go out to Salem tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, that's what it says, which is uh, 7 Central. And uh, Alfine will be out there holding a memorial for... Our lost friend. So, what the heck was that? Yeah, it was Casey. How's it going, Casey? Casey Cupcakes trying to chime in here. He was here on Friday. Yeah. He's trying. He's figuring out the, the buttons again. Been a long time since Casey Cupcakes has been here. There he is. That is. What's up, Cupcakes? I've like, like three weeks now getting audio back. My What's condolences. Back? Yeah, and... And am I reading that right? That Twisted Sister also, uh, Fionwin also has COVID? Yes. Uh, her roommate came down with it uh, last week, and then apparently uh, she's caught it as well. But she is vaccinated and doing okay, as is her roommate. Uh, she just wasn't up to doing her Saturday night uh, set yeah. on WRFB, and she's just recuperating and taking some time uh to get over, get over, get over the Rona, but uh, unfortunately, our good friend Twistar uh, did not make it. Don't know whether he was vaccinated or not. It's been a while since we, uh, at least since I had spoken to him. So, uh, yes, so, again, yeah. time once to go again, get your vaccines if you're not. Our condolences. Vaccinated. Yes, it'll keep you from dying, people. It'll keep you from dying. Won't keep you from getting it. But it'll keep you from dying. That's uh, and that's the important thing. There. That's the important part. We don't want to be losing you folks out there uh, when it's preventable. So, um, absolutely, one of the few things that Jack and I can definitely agree on. We don't want you all dying out there. <laughs> but uh, again, the memorial out in Salem, 8 p.m. Eastern time for Twistar. And uh, I'll be out there uh, checking it out and paying my respects. And, of course, uh, hope to see all of you out there tonight. So, with that said, uh, Chris Dar, we're going to miss you, buddy. As, uh, yes. You always had some interesting thing going on. You're always uh, hitting me up with your latest, greatest uh, endeavors. And yeah, I just uh, went and watched a build he did. He had a monster of a machine that he did a build on. And... Uh, I mean, this thing was full tower plus water cooled 14 core monster that he played on. And, uh, you know, he had a good time doing that build. So anyway, moving right along, we've got some news. We've got some updates. We've got some patch notes. We've got some release notes and all sorts of other stuff to talk about. <clears throat> so uh, where yes. are we going? Let, we headed right let, out to the Tweeterverse. Go to the Tweeterverse. And uh, going to October 1st, uh, where a new patch is live with a handful of fixes and improvements with a link to patch notes. Dead patch notes. Followed by Atos answering some Ask a Dev questions and a player event. Followed by no player event. Forgot to update the message. Oopsie. Oops. Yeah. What, what was that? A planned uh, ask a dev or just random? That that was uh, the monthly live stream. The uh, oh. day, day after release Friday live stream. Yeah. That happened on 
the first because Thursday was release day and then Friday was uh, the live stream, which is now a monthly live stream. For those of you who haven't been keeping up, there are only monthly live streams again. Yeah. No, no it, longer are there weekly or. Uh, but th the question was, was it announced on the, the Shroud Pledge that they are going to be doing a uh, live stream on Friday? Uh, I, I don't know if there needs to be an announcement. The live stream is every month after the release, which is the Friday after the release. So where, Thursday where, was released. Where is that scheduled, man? I uh, don't know if it's scheduled. Let's go look at the uh, update notes. So we got to go not, look at that. It's, it's, it's not. It's yeah. There's okay. Nothing, there's nothing. <laughs> but, the, but there is some patch notes from Friday. Oh, and Chris said he would do another stream this Friday to catch up on the Ask a Dev questions. <laughs> yeah. And all the questions okay. that get asked. Did you, did you ask your question, by the way, or did you decide against asking that question? Uh, well, just, we, just we know the history it. of uh, questions that we ask. Well, especially questions that you ask. <laughs> yeah. Um, the real question is, computer show front door. What, what's going on at my front door? Flag. Uh, Flag. Uh, I, no, I, I, I kind of like reduce that. The only problem is Lily's like st sitting in my way. I can't see. Oh. I'm going to go with uh, Neighbors. Neighbors, kids, or just neighbors walking by? Neighbors. Computer stop. This is the, the angle in which I have to actually look. Um, because Lily is in the way. Okay. Build number 14, 1454 came out. Um, so we are at two patches so far this release. Remember, nine is the magic number that we nine. for the most patches in a month. Nine. And that was two months ago. Last month, only six patches during the month. Um, and reinforcements have arrived at the rise. Reinforcements! Elf warriors were added. A few elf archers were removed. Some more skeletons and a few other updates to spawns. Out in Jotungrund, elementals near the signal towers will now be tier five most often, but with a roughly one in 12 chance that Rough. one tier 14 Rough. elemental will spawn instead. God, man. Yes, that roughly one in 12 chance. Not tw okay. one in 12, roughly one in 12. Roughly one in 12. <laughs> rough, rough. So, so, so it, it, it's actually one in 13, but. Three. Yeah. Three. Okay. Um, so, so an 8% chance. Anyone um, else think Jotungrund is just fun to say? I don't know. Jotungrund. I, and, I, don't, uh, I don't know where they come up with these names personally. Well, I mean, L Lily is right here. So you can see the top of her head on my stream, at least. You can Lily, see. Lily, welcome to the Lily Show. Yes. Um, out in Spectral Mines, they fixed an issue where ore nodes weren't appearing in the scene. Yay. Ore nodes are back. Ore nodes are back. You can get some iron again. Uh, Not that fixed. I ever go out to Spectral Mines for iron ore, but that's, yeah. Yes. There was a fix for the fix for the sorting option and filter moving away when crafting station UI gets larger. I don't get it. Uh, the Cone of Cold has been shifted to be a 4x XP skill. Your current skill level will likely drop a bit, but no XP was lost. Ooh. Yeah. In fact, uh, fixed bad skin weighing on Frost Giant that caused vertices to stick out strangely when the giant dies. 
and uh, they deleted some webbing that was uh, floating in the void. The void. Yes, and the avatar's hair will now show fully when wearing the new tiki demon mask. What are you? What are you? Why are you missing with that cable there, Willie? Stop eating cables. I want to chew your cables, Daddy. I know. Well, I mean, that, that <laughs> one was for, for, for my old Logitech gamepad thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and all variations of the four artifact fishing rings now feature improved tooltips to in indicate salvage and upgrade information if applicable. Any loot drop iteration of the uncommon magical attunement rings now drops as common at an increased rate. At this point, attunement ring drops should now be of the common tier. I thought that would apply to all uh, yes. artifacts at this point. All artifacts are supposed to be well, dropping they, as they, common they, they, now. They, well, they, they, they finally uh, fixed all the other loot tables, I guess because they they had missed some and azazel thank you very much this game's still yes. alive i came to say we miss tristar yes uh he's gonna be missed by many uh azazel and thank you for stopping by yep still alive we're still here seven years plus bringing you the news five days a week because hey we've got nothing better common yes. rings drop more commonly yeah which again uh, Tina, <clears throat> that's one of my, uh, favorite running jokes. Uh, we've got artifacts, which uh, if you, you use the term artifact, is supposed to be something that is, you know, a rare, rare item. Um, I think that they should take the, uh, intro notes that say collect hundreds of rares and get rid of that before somebody sues them for false advertising cool. because there's nothing such no such thing as rares anymore now that they release everything that was ever supposed to be a rare is now obtainable by anybody and including all these rings that you know you can now get hundreds of and make into epic and, and legendary rings that just you know and, and doesn't remember make the, them the, rare the the reason that um artifacts were introduced was as let's try to fix the loot table with something while everybody was complaining about uh crafting at the same time and so they it ended up being eh, let's easy fix low hanging fruit here's a brand crafting. new artifact instead of uh fixing the crafting because there's still things that artifacts can only do that crafting can't do. That should have just been included in the crafting system to begin with. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's like, how do you craft an item as a light source? Uh, still waiting for that one. I, I was going to say that, but you beat me to it. Yeah. When are yes. we going to be able to add light sources to equipment if you're... Uh, your skill is high enough to do so. And again, we recommend, you know, 120, 140 skill, probably 140, right? You would have probably agreed it should be up in the 140 range to be able to do something like that. I don't know. Well, I mean, in, in instead of like the RNG for crafting, I mean, you, you really have to change it. And, and Lily really wants to be just on my desk. Yeah. Being... Casey says oh, artifact oh. just means old shit. So, so yeah. you, you you think that there's lots of old shit that are duplicates of each other floating around out there? Or artifacts uh, usually one-offs or two-offs or maybe a handful, not not something that everybody can get their hands on. Casey, what's your what's your uh -oh. thoughts on that? Uh -oh. I don't know. You find a chest of old ass gold. You just found a bunch of artifacts, du duplicates of the same artifact. Okay, well, but how, mean, how, we, how we, many chests of old ass gold do you think would be out there? You know what I'm saying? Can everybody well, they're, they're, find one? All the rusty armor is actually artifacts, man. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Old and, and rusty look, armor. That's an artifact. Because it's special. You too can get your armor with rust holes in them. And Lily is, I, I don't know what Lily is doing. Lily's just doing her thing. 
Well, her, her tail is now on my keyboard, so I can't use my keyboard now. I mean, hold on. Let, 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 let's point that down there. So, so you, you like how Lily's right there? Yeah. Yeah. It's like she, she's she's getting awfully comfortable. Yeah, it looks, it looks like she's getting more comfortable by the minute there, getting yeah. situated. Um, so, yeah. release notes. Where did we leave off? Well, we left off at the restoration potions. That's where we finished off last week. And that was under what? Uh, Player craft economy. Um, crafting, decoration, and inventory item changes. And, and go, just go look for fried carp. Fried carp. Yes. Because fried carp now only takes three seconds to eat instead of ten. Which puts its cast time equal to other foods. Ooh. Uh, the ancient Zenosian heraldry round shield is now diable in both channels and should properly display heraldry. About time. Nice. Yes. Um, Fix the inconsistent naming of unicorn poisons and potions. Nice. But we still so, have a a coke coat hook instead of a cloak hook, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I, that's because we have all these coats in the game. I mean, yes. I, I always coats, hang my man. coats on the hook. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I and I and that just goes to like. Um, a bug was fixed, which caused bug. the crafting windows to recalculate all viable options per frame when open and using the search filter. This was usually not noticeable for most players, but this bug could be crippling with for players attempting to craft with extremely large inventories. You mean everybody? Yeah, pretty much. I don't, I don't know anybody who runs around with low inventories. I know everybody runs around with all sorts of crap in their backpacks. <laughs> yeah. Um, all six varieties of obsidian potions of transformation can now be dismissed by the player by right-clicking the buff icon in the active buff bar and selecting nice. the dismiss option. Nice. Yes. The sacks of wheat grain, as well as sacks of salt, flour, sugar, ha now have much more forgiving collision, so you can scooch them closer together, which makes <laughs> their edges <laughs> appear like pliable cloth. They can all also be rotated on the additional axis. Axis um, placed on exterior floor surfaces and placed as POT decorations. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, level requirements at expert crafting stations were not always showing correct changes. This has been fixed. Nice. Yeah. Items nice fixes. reshaped. Items. I mean, the, the, that's like a six year old bug right there. Yeah. Well, that's you know fixed. that and I know that, you know. Yeah. Items reshaped with the patterns from the Zen Penetrator, the Halberd of the Sun, or the Shard of Night will no longer display tooltip descriptions as if they were an artifact. Adjusted the decoration settings of the large and small haystacks to improve placement behavior. All 10 variations of the Quiver of Jealousy artifact can now accept backslot patterns. Um... The wash pitcher now has forgiving collision and can be placed very closely to other items. The pitcher can now be placed as POT decoration. The tower archway teleporter can now have other decorations placed upon it, such as wall hung banners and wall lighting. You missed the wash basin. Same as the wash pitcher. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, wash basin. Yeah, um, same as pitcher. <laughs> Due to the existence of two items called the Ornate Vile Halberd, the store version has been renamed to the Obsid Ornate Obsidian Halberd, as well as the associated Eternal and Regular Patterns. Cool. Yeah. Um, 
Decorative hops plants and decorative hops plants mature are now plural to better depict the multi-plant nature of the decoration. The fire elemental statue now. So they, they added an S. Yeah. The, <clears throat> the, the fire elemental statue now has much, features a much less extreme flicker effect. Um, the visual effects in the lava hot tub are no longer removed when GPU occlusion is set to on. Um, optimal harvest for tea plants now have a chunk to provide a mature version of, of the decoration tea plant as intended. Previously, both success possibilities were set to only provide the non-mature version. The following things can now be placed as POT decorations. Stuff. Stuff, which is again when we make stuff it should automatically be flagged pot decoration yes wax cylinders can now be placed on top of another or or have other decorations placed upon them if those decorations can be child objects nice because wax cylinders yeah yeah, I've I've got them as decoration all over, but yeah, they got to be they they had to be piled like next to each other because you couldn't stack them or do anything with them. So maybe yeah. I'll go play with some of those here in the future. This is funny. Any scenes with skill caps such as PvP shard yeah. falls <laughs> or any pot that has requested skill or adventure level caps. I didn't know that a POT could have a skill or adventure level cap. Yeah, well, welcome welcome to um, the world of Shroud of the Avatar. I didn't know you could request such a thing. That's right. I know yeah. you could re you could request ransom or no ransom. That was uh, something I knew it was requestable, but I didn't know you could request right, skill caps in your town. <clears throat> I, it's just absolutely silly. Will now only affect adventuring skills no longer crafting skills and yeah didn't know that it affected any crafting skills to begin with because that was initially just for combat that was the whole point so yeah um, i mean it, i i mean let, let me just put it to you this way uh are there any crafting stations out in shard falls who's crafting out in shard falls please wait, wait, please wait, raise wait, your wait, hand wait, hold, hold on hold on Let, let's go back to the leaderboards and now let's go. Let's go load. Are the leaderboards loading. working? Uh, loading. That is the question. Loading. 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 P leaderboards are broken again. That's what I was gonna say. I thought they were broken. <laughs> yeah, which yeah. I that that way we could show the lack oh. of PvP, and it's like. Um, you've done every other test. Where's the full loot test? And full loot, um, full loot. Yeah. Um, the, the, we're, those we're, things. We're, that, we're gonna keep calling where, for it until we get where, a full loot where, test. Where is our actual like faction system for PvP as well? You mean like the faction system they got in that new game called New World? Out by Amazon. Yes. That's that, that thing opening that's got up like, server after server after server because they can't handle the influx of new players. That that one? over seven hundred thousand active <clears throat> players right now. Yes, concurrent players. Yes, concurrent players. Active players right now. Yes. Yeah. Seven hundred thousand. Yes. Yes. Still we're, sucks. We're lucky for seven hundred. <laughs> Yeah, still, still um, reading mixed and bad reviews over that, but uh, yeah, you, you, <clears throat> you, you know what just released, yeah. and you, 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 I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, um, they've probably already made all their development money back. Uh yeah, well, fifty bucks a pop, well, forty bucks if you want the advanced, uh, which I don't see the ten bucks gives you a pet. And a couple skins for an additional ten bucks, which most everybody yeah. probably went and spent anyway. So fifty bucks a pop uh, times seven hundred thousand. Uh, you do the math. Yeah, there, there, there's there, that that paid for itself. They, 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 they have 
<clears throat> more than likely. But and, it's and like guess guess what? Amazon owns the web servers of the world, so they're not paying Amazon web server costs and deployment fees and all that BS because they own the shit. Oh yeah, and, and, and it's part of the <clears throat> uh, their their proof of concept. Hey, at least they finally launched a game. So I, I gotta ask: anybody been able to log into Facebook today? Or is Facebook still down for half the world? <laughs> uh, it's still down. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I didn't log in because I'm always logged in. Yeah. Well, if if you tried to log in today, you've got rude awakening. You're you're. It's not working for me. Yeah. It's it's down for yeah about eighty percent of the world right now, which is uh, yeah, a good laugh on my part. Somebody yeah. finally managed to take it down. Yep. <laughs> that would be taken down by... Um, it's, it's, they forgot to pay a bill, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that that or they, they let like their Cloudflare subscription expire or something stupid. Uh, the ether infusion infusion crafting component is no longer inappropriately available at cooking merchants. Oh God. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh man. Uh, the the collision has been improved on the azalea and black elder bushes to allow for much closer placement of other decorations and more possibilities to create densely vegetated densely vegetated decoration areas you see a recurring theme here where where the development time is going instead of fixing bugs does anybody else well, see that or it, is it just it, me yeah. it's well, let's bug That's house right. decorations is the most important thing around here though i thought fishing it's, was the most important thing Fish. that's the second that's the second <laughs> most important thing um yeah. Oh, is that Casey? <laughs> yeah, it's some pissed cupcakes. Off yeah, cupcakes. <laughs> cupcakes are hey, in the game, man. You finally, you finally got cupcakes. cupcakes. That's why I'm yeah. back. Yeah, you make oh, cupcakes yeah. out of worms now too. Worm cupcakes. Yeah, that's yeah. the ones. That's why I'm back. You can finally make cupcakes. The other ones <laughs> you get from a uh, Lord British's thing are cool, but you can't bake them. So. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, l let's see. The gothic footstool, gothic heavy sturdy chair, gothic wooden chair, and gothic bench no longer accept dyes since these items were not designed to be dyeable. So if somebody dyed them and they have them, did they remain dyed and they now have in intrinsic rares because they're dyed? You know there's no such thing as a rare in Shroud of the Avatar? Well, if you got a screwed up piece of equipment like that, that becomes a rare, right? Hey, it, just because for years they said, hey, this is the only <clears throat> chance that you have of getting this item. Otherwise, you, you miss it. It's gone forever. And they bring it back years later. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah. Um... Like the and Nightmare Mask, which is coming back into the vault, which is probably yeah. the rarest of... Ra well, no, the Snowflake Cloak has got to be the rarest of the, rares. The 2014 yeah. Snowflake Cloak. Yeah. Yeah. Supposed. None we of gotta the use financial supposed decisions rares are driven days. by cupcakes, logic, or anything else. <laughs> um, actually, they are driven by... Um, laziness we already have these art assets we can just put it up for sale and we'll just add a heritage tag onto it so that we can make resale of them hey. and we're and we're going to offer them for like a third that the original people paid for them or less yeah, speak, speaking of which let's take a quick look into the vault uh has the vault changed yes it has okay so if you all missed out on that uh, village pavilion that used to be 80 bucks in this store was just less than 19 bucks, well, you're SOL till the next time it comes around into the vault. Yep. Hey, but you too can get that Dark Star staff. 
or yeah, his cobalt uh, mask. Uh, uh, only available. Yeah, magic sigil cloaks. Yeah. Uh, only available, you know, the black ice shield, only available as Teleton rewards now or, or available. the yeah. Admiral's outfit. Yeah. Which, yeah. again, was one of them stretch goal. Stretch goal. If you didn't back that stretch goal, you're not getting the rewards ever unless yeah. you buy it from another player. Yeah. Now, I guess I can just uh, go ahead and take mine out of storage now because it's uh, you know, not worth anything. That's yeah. worth 15 bucks. <laughs> well, it used to be worth a whole lot more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Viking, um, Viking Short Sword Vault Edition. Yeah, you had to buy the Viking bundles in order to get that. And if you didn't buy the Viking bundles, you were SOL. But nope. Not gonna do it. We gotta offer up all that stuff. All of it. Yeah. What went wrong with soda rares? That 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 is we already have these art assets. We can just resell them again and make more money. Hey, the only problem is we we've given them the fix. You reskin, redate them. Yep. You change the rare. colors. New it's rare. A new rare. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but at the same time, it, it is one where um that has actually caused them to lose a lot more money instead of introducing new rares because I'm not buying anything and I used to spend a ton of money every single month. Um, Laz used to do the same. It's like, I went from, uh, six or nine subscriptions a month down to zero. Um, I went from nine subs plus other purchases a month, which was a minimum of $45, five bucks a telethon down to one sub a month and not buying anything else out of the store unless I got it with crowns that I've got for 50 gold pieces off yeah. my vendors. And it's one where it's like the, the the problem is it's like when you listen to the guy that says, hey, man, I missed this. And it's like, I'll buy 10 of them. Um, yeah, well, we had somebody post, <clears throat> you just post and do the, the shroud math. Bunch of other people. Yeah. yeah. And he did the shroud math where, you know, he <clears throat> proved that people like Jack and I would buy multiples of stuff for for use later on on the secondary market, but also to boost, you know, just basic sales. And, you know, the catch is if you can get it at any time, you know, your basic yeah. sales are going to be what? You get 10 new players a day. So you possibly sell, possibly sell one of those items well, a day <clears throat> because I don't think all 10 players are buying all this stuff. So, and, and, and Bridget Royal is also pointing out that the subscription items. Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah. Also available in the crown shop as well. So you can uh, pick and choose the subscription items that you want as well. So if you I don't mean, want to pay the nine bucks monthly, you can just go ahead and pick up the uh, items individually as they come out because they come out shortly after the subscription bundle comes out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and like all the prosperity items just made it their appearance on the crown shop as well. It's like, Ooh, yeah, we, we haven't covered that yet. Have we? <clears throat> yeah, we did last week quickly. Very, very quickly. Let, let's yeah. get that. Let, let's get that up on screen real, real quick tools. Yeah. Recently added. Recently prosperity. added. You can buy. Prosperity tools individually instead of a multi pack so that you can take your time and go ahead and buy them one at a time as you collect your kodos compared to having to buy the multi packs in, bun in bulk. So, yeah, well, and you course, can also buy, buy the packs as well if you still want to do it that way. And they're all heritage items. So if you want the really good ones that are tradable, come speak to me and Jack. We may have some real tools that are uh, tradable. I already <laughs> sold all of my 
I think, think I have. I think I have a few still sitting around. Yeah. I mean, but it, it's it's one where it's like, yeah. Uh, Maynard's like, I was happy to support a game that I like. Would spend money, money, money every month, but now yeah. it's just one abs- sub. Abs- absolutely, yeah. Maynard. Absolutely, same yeah. same here, brother. And the only reason why I do it for the most part now is just it's the best Kodo exchange rate you get. You know, you, you mm-hmm. get 900 Kodos for $9. It doesn't get any better than that. So I use those and I give I give away 500 of those 900 every month. So, I mean, you know, it's not like I'm really keeping a whole lot of them for myself to buy things because, again. Uh, so, uh, Dwip, a video summary of all this would help explain the problems i disagree so th- there 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 is an issue that is an unspoken rule any kind of criticism um or Ooh. an idea that that Ooh. isn't liked is poo-pooed in the office and they will do everything to just shit on that idea no matter what it is um fake news fake news yes and that that is one where lots of people and and it it's described as toxic behavior because you don't like it but there there is a reality that we have to contend with and that reality is we need players. Yes, indeed. And, and we need we need microtransactions to fund the game based off of the decision to go from selling the game six months later after launch, going free to play, which destroyed your revenue stream because you didn't end up with the 200,000 backers ending up playing the game, where it's... Um, I, I bet you New you World never with, goes free. Oh well, New World will will go free to play in like five years. You think? Yeah, probably. Yeah, well, you know, I I doubt it because here here we are. Uh, let's see, when, when the GTA Five released two thousand thirteen, oh, yeah. and they're still yeah. charging full price for it. And you know, yeah. and you know how much they made this past year in sales alone? Over three billion dollars. In microtransactions yeah. and game sales, okay, still charging for it. Yeah, and, and, and that that's one where it's like we have to focus on the actual business case and how do we make money? How do we do things? Um, yeah, and, and hearing how we don't Samsung buy charging anything, me to resell yeah. my phone is not going to get them to sell more phones. Making heritage items that you have to pay 20% to resell is not going to sell more items. I'm sorry, Last, just not happening. But I've got this heritage razor phone from 2000 that could be <laughs> yours for 5.99. That's right. Yeah. Um, but but you it, don't have to pay Razor twenty percent kickback in order to sell it, do you? <laughs> We're not talking about that. Um, but yeah, um, but it's not brand new. But again, if if I buy something, it's heritage. It's no longer brand new. The minute I buy it, it's used at that point, and I still got to pay twenty percent to resell it. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I just I I can't I can't buy into that. Well, yeah. And Brent I mean, says five ninety nine. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, it, it is one where it's like we have been very vocal about this for a couple of years since the introduction of Vault and uh, heritage, heritage items. items. the The problem is that there there has been a an absolute ton of you know what we're never going to do this. Here it Someone is. Tips, tips some bits on a stream. Um, and then poof, there it is in the game. Um, and, and that's, that's one where it's like, it, for, for example, um, we're never not going to put in the game a 
remove helmet option. Not going to do it. Ever going to put in a remove cloak option. Yeah. Not going to do it. So, and now there is options that will hide your cloak and hide your helmet. It's, it's, it's one where it's like, Thank you, I'd like Billy. to hide my hat. How do I hide my hat? Yeah. How do I hide my hat? You take the freaking thing off. Hello. Yeah. You can't and just it's poof not- and make the hat disappear. It doesn't work like that in real life. I know it's and a it's, fantasy game. Yeah. I get it. You know, but you're breaking my immersion, man. You're breaking my immersion. Yeah, and it's not like a uh, it's, we don't have disposable incomes. Yeah, what I got to do? Get a piece of green screen and hold it above my head to hide my hat? Is that what you're telling me, yes. Tina? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go back to the update because the new leather backpack pattern should now be properly applied to back slot items. They fixed the issue with the leather backpack not properly acting as a container when used as a decoration. I thought that was fixed last month. It, it was. Um, yeah. The, the red stall awning can now be placed on pavers. The tame health level monitor modifier stats on the legendary and epic versions of the belt of control have been fixed and no longer reversed between the two tiers. Nice. Updated the tooltip and sto- store descriptions for potions of green growth, potions of growth, potions of diminutive stature, potion of upward acceleration to indicate the effects provided by these potions do not persist through scene changes. Which they should. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Red they Dragon, that, that, uh, I guess that depends on which pieces of clothing. There are certain pieces of clothing that we just well, can't take off. <laughs> well, re- re- remember, there are you, is. Are, are, are you talking is, about in game? Uh, there there is clothing an option, off in game. There is an option to have hidden clothes in game. You too can buy the Emperor's new clothes at shroudmarketplace.com. The only problem is. The bug report for it has not been processed bug. to turn that into a pattern. That is the only thing that should be uh, able to hide actually. The, 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 the last the instruction person. was speak to Algarian about that. I don't know if any of us ever did actually do that because, yeah, again, we get poo pooed on everything, so it's pretty much just, you know, yeah, yeah. Um. It's not a, it's, it is a bug. And no, so you want process. a pattern. It's not a pattern. That's uh, not a bug. All the other That's a wish list. clothing items are patterns. And this one isn't. Get the fuck and, over and, it. And they just turned all crafted and other things into patterns. All stuff that, you know, we can scroll back and Again, show no. you. Not a bug. Rotating. Okay. A bug. Not a bug. <laughs> Not a bug. So uh, you want it, it doesn't exist. That doesn't make it a bug. That makes it a wish list. Can we please move cup? on? Because I'm really fucking tired of you assholes, bitching. <laughs> <laughs> you want us to talk about combat and skill change? It, it it should have been a pattern when it was released. Period. Just like every new deco item that's released should be pot placeable. When released, we should not, not just hear me. <laughs> Move the fuck up. <laughs> Mom, I asked you the question. Do you want us to talk about combat and skill changes? Well, you're not really oh. qualified since you never actually go out into combat anyway. So I did recently. <laughs> I killed stuff. Remember a couple it- weeks ago, even when Laz was out, I went out and hunted. Mm-hmm. Bridge, Bridge, Bridge Troll says, "Let's talk about heritage and vault items." I don't know. <laughs> Place anywhere decoration. Red Dragon says, "This lady is mean. She reminds me of my kindergarten teacher." <laughs> well, that's why her name is Mom. Yeah, yeah. We don't call her Mom. She does have to deal with Timmy. Twenty something years now. I don't have time for this shit anymore. 
<laughs> you know, you want this game to have more players? Maybe if these two guys who had this show every day did more than bitch and tried to bring in new players, we might get hey, some. We, we were responsible for putting more asses in seats behind this game screen than anybody else was back in the beginning. And when we started getting poo-pooed over it and they were giving away game keys to give away to everybody else but us, you know what? We got sour and said, screw this. We're tired of putting asses in seats because we get no love and respect for putting asses in seats. So we stopped doing it. Plain and simple. Yeah, we asked for game keys when so they had you game threw keys a to give away. Because you didn't get your way like a toddler. No, we asked like everybody else, and we got denied because they didn't like what we were doing, even though we were putting asses in seats. You know, so when when you when you diss us, you know, you get the same diss back. That's all. Well, Laz, I, I I don't think that that would have been the absolute case. Well, because that was I mean, part we, of it. Th there was there's a lot more to it than that. Um, and we put a lot that, of asses in seats. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, we yeah. keep a lot of asses in seats here every day, five days a week. Not hard to do a one hour stream five days a week, let alone once a week. But anyway, moving right. right along. Combat uh, skills and changes. Because mom doesn't want to hear it. <laughs> Love you, mom. Code of, Cone of Cold, a new water magic spell, has been added to the game to help boost the DPS for water mages. The frontal Cone of Cold attack AoE has been added to the water skill tree. The skill not only does significant water damage, but also features an attack speed debuffed. Players specialized in water magic will also receive an increased attack speed debuff and a reduced cooldown. I thought they had a post that that was actually removed. Uh, there was one of them that was removed. That was way okay. back up at the top. It, it is there. It is back in there. Um, then after that, Celestially, Celestial Blessing no longer features a static bonus of 20 to 4 types of magic resistance. The bonus now scale based upon your skill level. This means pl many players may notice a reduction in the bonuses provided while obtaining greater amounts of resistance as they increase the skill's level. The skill can also now stack, which allows players another avenue for increasing the spell's effects. The focus penalty has been increased and now scale scales with skill level. Moon specialized players receive extra bonuses to these resistance effects, and they also receive a greatly reduced focus penalty. Now, and th this is one where we have to discuss that based off of what was put in QA, um, because there was a problem related to the shroud math related to this skill. Do you remember what that was? On which? The Celestial Blessing. Uh, they nerfed it. They nerfed the living fuck out of it. So, let's see. Do you, do you know what your Celestial Blessing skill is? I can look real quick. We we just talked about this okay. last week, and I only don't. Have, what is this celestial blessing under? Uh... It's a, it's under moon. Yeah, I don't have a whole bunch in moon. Yeah, so so I I only have forty in it, but it it only gives me five resistance based off of skill level forty. But in yeah, order I, to get I, that I got forty 20, as well. The twenty that it used to give you had to have like what a hundred and forty skill in it. I thought again that it was uh yeah we just discussed yeah. this last week. Yes. Uh but it was like 140 skill in order to get the 20 that should have been at 100. Um but yeah. And Nerf. It's been nerfed to all get out. Um and Lily is trying to do weird things to my notes for work right now. I don't know what it is. Um, 
Then after that, inner strength can now be stacked to improve its strength effect as well as its duration. The visual effects for Death Shield have been toned down to be less distracting. The Anthem of Alacrity can no longer be cast on the overworld because, hey, everybody else can have a speed boost except for you. That's a bard. Bard. Yes. Um, creatures will now only play the flinch animation if they take at least 1% of their health in a hit. Large creatures being attacked by groups were spending 100% of their time playing the finch response despite being barely injured. Are you just going to push shit off again? <laughs> I almost caught it all. I at least caught my phone. Okay, I, I, I definitely need that piece of paper. Okay, um... Then after that, uh, Frost Giant health has been reduced by 33%, should no longer flinch from small amounts of damage, and should turn more quickly. The bug which prevented fishing bug. from breaking stealth has been fixed. Who cares you're fishing? Uh, uh, those PvPers don't want to get ganked while they're out there fishing stealthily, you know. Oh, oh, and... and Lily's sitting on buttons on my, and I can't scroll down anymore. Um, so, so where, where am I at? Um, distract, distract will, will no longer be set to maintain for newly created characters. Why do new create newly created characters have me distract anyways? Why do they have anything set at maintain? Why, why, why do they have distract? Because that's, pretty useless skill uh yeah again i don't know and mom why is the tail killing you <laughs> it was like she was caressing your chin dude. it was a little weird <laughs> <laughs> you you should see lily whenever <laughs> i go to sleep what she mm -hmm. does um yeah uh then uh let's see where where was i at um Players without Bard. Players without the Bard specialization will no longer inappropriately receive the Anthem of Alacrity bonus for dexterity in their spell effects. Oh, that makes splintering, sense. Splintering Strike no longer inappropriately indicates an increase to weapon damage. Uh, ta -ta. For the record, CB is 13 and change at GM. You need to explain that. Celestial Blessing is 13 and change at GM. So at if 100. you have 100 skill, you only get 13 resistance. Instead Old skill, 20. you had 20 at level 20. Um, yeah, it's got nerfed all get out. And so in order to get to 20, you need like 140 skill. It's ridiculous. Or maybe it got shroud math to get that 20 resistance at 200. The non-existent 200 skill cap. Mm -hmm. All right, let's catch up here because we are tight mm -hmm. on. So let's try oh. and get this, uh, this, this well, topic um, closed. Uh, the Ice Spiders and High Veil Outskirts can now properly apply an Ice Field damage and slow effect to their victims. And the Icon Indicator uh, should have an active Ice Field is now visible. And Dig In is now... Dig In now properly displays the specialization benefit in a, the tooltip, which is a combat block modifier to provided to the caster. And I do... Oh, wait, that, that, that's how I'm going to have to move down. Um, uh, the tool... Uh, let's see. Lowered the audible sound range, range of solar flare significantly so it cannot be heard over long distances. The tooltip for corpse explosion now indicates corpses can be exploded up to three times rather than indicating a corpse is consumed at some point. Really? Why can three you blow times? Up a course three yeah, times? really? Uh, it should be once. Splat. Not, 
exploded. Yeah. Boom. Gone. Not three times. Because there, there, it's not like there hasn't been exploits involving corpse explosion multiple times. Uh, yeah, but now you never can happened, blow them up never three happened. times. Yeah. yeah. And, and and really <sighs> exploit exploit corpse explosion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, spinning attack now properly applies a damage avoidance debuff when the bleed effect is applied for a specialized polearm users. Uh, Stonefist spell description now indicates specialized earth magic users also receive a lock time reduction for the skill. Uh, and last, but definitely not least... Ghost Drain Strength ability now has a unique icon which appears in the active buff bar when that debuff is present. Interesting. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Yes. <laughs> All sorts of fun stuff. You have to be uh, Einstein level genius to keep track of, uh, yeah. What buff counteracts the debuff to counteracts the buff that adds to the buff from the weapon that you're using to debuff the buff? Yep. <laughs> anyway, that's about it for this edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack. It's that time for us to get out of here. So we're going to go ahead and close out the giveaways. We're going to pick one lucky winner. And I got a copy of Bang Bang Racing. For one lucky user out there, Bang Bang Racing, $9.99 on Steam as we close the giveaway. Pick ourselves a winner. And Tina Jig Goku. Congratulations. A copy of Smoke and Sacrifice. Jig Goku with a copy of Bang Bang Racing. We'll be back with more right here on NBN tomorrow. Congratulations. Till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are in BNN. Have a great day, even you, Mom. I know it. We love you. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.